Thanks for tuning in to Power Talk Tuesday. In these videos, I discuss all things Power Ranger and Super Sentai related. Today, I'm listing off the top Power Rangers villains. Let's get into it. Number one, Rita Repulsa. The classic evil empress made her debut in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in 1993, arch nemesis to the Power Rangers and Zordon. Number two, Goldar. To me, this is one of the best villains ever in Power Rangers TV history. The character design, the distinguishing voice, and facial hair really makes this villain stand out. Number three, Lord Zed. When this villain was introduced, he was the new baddie that triumphed over Rita Repulsa. The design of this character and his attributes are iconic, fearsome, and stand out. Lord Zed is also an original American-made villain, unlike some characters that were filtered over from Sentai footage. Number four, Rito Revolto is the brother of Rita Repulsa. The design on this character was fun, villainous, and he stood out. He was the Patrick to SpongeBob kind of a villain, if you know what I mean. Number five, Ranzik is the dominant villain in the Time Force season. His first appearance was striking and violent, where it appeared he killed Power Rangers. This is one villain that any Power Ranger fan can't forget. Number six, Corone slash Astronema is the primary antagonist in the Power Rangers in space. She is known throughout the universe as the Princess of Evil, Dark Princess of Space, and the Princess of Darkness. Her name may be a pun to astronomy and the space constellation, uh, Andromeda. Also, she is the sister to Andros, Red in Space Ranger. Number seven, Ivan Ooze. Ivan Ooze was a tyrant who was sealed away 6,000 years prior to the events in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. He appears as the main villain summoned by and ultimately betraying Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa. Number eight, King Mondo serves as the principal antagonist in Power Rangers Zero, the leader of the machine empire with a metally shiny design that is easily distinguishable. Number nine, Trakina. Trakina is the primary antagonist of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, where she is portrayed by Amy Miller. The character also reappears in Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Always loved the design of her character and kind of secretly had a weird crush on her. Uh, at least the lady, you know, behind the bug outfit. Yeah, I was a weird child. Number 10, Lord Draken. Introduced in the Boom Studio comics of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, this character, unlike any character before, actually made me fearful and scared for the lives of Power Ranger characters. No one is safe when Lord Draken is around. This character comes from a different dimension where Tommy remained evil and combined the powers of Green and White Ranger, resulting in this new iconic villainous look. Number 11, Lothor. Kia Watanabe, better known as Lothor, is a major antagonist in the Power Rangers franchise and the main antagonist of Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Number 12, Master Xandrid. Master Xandrid is the overlord of the Nylox. He's the primary adversary of the Samurai Rangers. He comes from the Neverworld and lives on a ship floating on the Sanzu River. Now, to be honest, I don't know too much about this character, but I've seen him around enough to know his character design nonetheless sticks out to me. So yeah, he made it on the list. Happy? Number 13, Mezagog. Mezagog was a humanoid dinosaur-like being and the main antagonist of Power Rangers Dino Thunder. He was the monster form of Anton Mercer. This villain had an iconic design unlike any other bad guy before him. Half man, half dinosaur. Cool and creepy in my book. What are some of your favorite Power Ranger villains? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe now and ring that bell to stay notified of my future content. Until next Tuesday, guys. Wham, bam, boom.